telling me for years about how fishy the lake is, Lois Lake. There's fish everywhere. Fish, 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 fish. We just got to get to early in May, get the first bite. <laughs> and so we're out there. We've got two boats, not one, two boats, a sailboat and a motorboat. And, and the motor on the motorboat hasn't been serviced by Ken in 15 years. Ken, <laughs> <laughs> where are you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, that's not the story. The story's about fish tails. So in the morning, we're getting up with excitement. This is the next day. We've camped on the island, and uh, Ken's up at 5 in the morning doing a campfire. And by 5.30 in the morning, we're ready to go out in the boat. You mean by 6.30 because it took an hour and a half? No, no, <laughs> that was early. it was early. And it was so <laughs> early. Fishing. There was just light on the water, and Ken goes, look! Look at all those fish jumping there everywhere! <laughs> He's going, it's like yeah. You can't see them, kid. Tell me where they are! <laughs> Rod, it's shh, shh. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a grouse on the mountain up there! I can hear that! Ken, I can't hear a thing! <laughs> what that don't worry about is all those fish around you! You're rotting the water, Dan, now! Because they're everywhere! The water's just alive, boiling with fish. Apparently, own the rod, don't get a thing. Ken doesn't get anything either. Uh, it was the sun on the water. I mean. <laughs> anyway, this was a big fishing trip. We were gone for five days. I think we caught one fish, and that was Ken's fish that was caught. <laughs> and then when you came home, you said, "Let's lay, let's lay the catch out on the grass." <laughs> catch out. <laughs> about the horseshoes story and that is that motor that hadn't I had you know it, it always just first pull it's just fine what do you need to check the spark plug for what do you need to carry an extra spark plug for we decided we'd take the motor boat up to Khartoum Lake which is only about a four hour boat ride up to the middle of nowhere and we get about three quarters of the way up and <laughs> Shoes. I really do. There's something about, you know, I pulled it a few more times and went, and it got us up to the very end and it went p -p 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 a few times, but we made it home. It did. Anyway, it did. We didn't have any idle or low speed, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Right. Right. Look at this. Well ordered. And there's more. Oh, there's more. Oh my god! Line up all the way out the door. Oh my god. So, it's my lady's report that this past summer there was an occasion when Ken declined to try my homely wine until I had answered a skill test. The question was. What did you think about the black gray wine I brought into your place? <laughs> so I thought fast, but nothing came to my mind. <laughs> I was in trouble. <laughs> so I decided to tell the truth as gently as I could. I said, Ken, it really wasn't very good. <laughs> at, at which point, Ken got much happier and decided it would be all right to try my wine because Apparently, I was able to distinguish a lot of that. Knowing that you can distinguish good from bad wine. That's right. That's right. So, Ken, this is the award for the most truly awful. <laughs>